Jesus, in our midst, O Lord, as we worship you and praise your holy name, O Lord. Lord Jesus, O God, what were needed, O Lord, to be broke down, O Father, you break it, O Lord Jesus. Remove whatever you want to remove, O Father, Jesus, O God. Empty us, O Father, Lord, of ourselves and fill us, O Lord, with what you want, O Lord Jesus. Fill us with what you want, O Lord Jesus. Here we are, Holy Spirit of Father, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
You're the God of this city You're the King of this people You're the Lord of this nation You are You're the light in this darkness You're the hope to the hopeless You're the peace to the restless You are There is no one like a God There is no one like a The greater things are still to be done in the city. Yes, Lord, the greater things. The greater things are about to come. The greater things are still to be done in the city. You're the God of this city. You're the King of this people. You're the Lord of this nation You are You're the light in this darkness You're the hope to the hopeless You're the peace to the restless You are You're the God of the city You're the God of this city You're the God of this people you the Lord of this nation You are You the light in the darkness You the hope to the hopeless You the peace to the restless You are There is no one like a God There there's no one like a God For greater things to pass God For greater things are still to be done in this city Greater things For greater things have yet to come Greater things are still to be done in this city Yes, Lord, we believe, Lord, greater things are yet to come. The greater things are yet to come. The greater things are still to be done in the city. Oh, greater things, the Lord. The greater things are yet to come. The greater things are still to be done. Yes, we Lord, believe, we believe, Lord, we, we believe, believe upon the Lord. That you'll bring the Lord the light into this darkness of oh Father. That you'll bring deliverance of oh Father to this broken world, oh Lord Jesus, oh Father. We need your light, oh Father, Lord Jesus. Yes, Father, Lord, we believe, oh Father, that your great things, oh Father, Jesus, oh God, are yet to come, oh Lord. We believe in Jesus, we believe in you, oh Lord. The things of to come. Greater things are still to be done in this city. Lord, we need your deliverance, of Father. Lord, we need a Father, Lord, a great deliverance, of Father, from the bondage, of Father, the world is going through right now, Lord. Greater things have yet to come. Greater things. It's still to be done in this city Greater things have yet to come Greater things are still to be done in this city Yes, Lord Yes, Lord, we need, Lord, great and wonderful things, of Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are 
that is who yes lord you're the way maker of father jesus where there is no way lord you make way even when there is no way of father lord lord you're the hope to the hope that's the father my god that is who you are you are you are way maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my god that is who you are you are way maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my yes, god lord that is you are the promise you keeper of father jesus the lord there's none like you father lord miracle worker oh no one of father jesus no one else lord yes my god that is who you are you are here moving in our midst i worship you i worship you worship you you are here moving in our midst i worship you i worship you you are here walking in this place i worship you yes lord we believe in a father worship you you are we make miracle work promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are you are we make miracle work promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are yes lord you are we make a miracle work promise keep let's sing it with believe the darkness with trust in the lord God, with lots of faith let's sing each are. word with lots of faith in our hearts you are we make a miracle work promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are you are we make a miracle work promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are you are we make a miracle work promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are even when i don't see it you work yes. it even when i don't, don't feel it you work it you never stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working even when i don't see it you work it even when i don't feel it you work it never stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop even even when i don't see it you work it even when i don't feel it you work it never stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working even when i just see it you work it even when i just feel it you work it you never stop you never yes, stop yes you never stop walking you never stop you never Lord, stop not even when you feel of oh, father that you know walking you see sometimes you forget your father you never stop sometimes you feel that you know you know walking and stop even then Lord, you walking with she never stop you never stop working even when i just see it you working even when i just feel it you working you never stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working when i just see it you working even when i just feel it you working you never stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working we make miracle work promise keep light in the darkness 
my God, that is who you are. You are waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Yes, Lord, that is who you are. You are waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. 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 Father, that you're walking, Lord. Even when I don't see it, you're walking, oh Jesus. Even when I don't feel it, you're walking, oh Lord. Just because I don't feel it, just because I can't see it, it doesn't mean that you're not walking, Father. You're walking, oh Lord. Every single second, oh Father, Jesus, oh God. You're taking care of us, oh Father, Lord. You know every single word of Father before even it comes out of our mouth, O oh Lord. You know our heart desires, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. How beautiful, O oh Father. How wonderful is your love. How wonderful is your love, Jesus. No one, O oh Father, no one, Lord, can compare to the love of Father. No one can compare, O oh Father, to the compassion. The grace you have given us, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Oh, there's none like you, Lord. There's none like you, oh Jesus. There is none like you. No one else can touch my like you do and I can search for all eternity long and find there is none like you there is none like you no one else could touch my heart like you do I could search for all eternity long and find there is none like you there is none like you no one else can touch my heart like you do and I could search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. But I see those like a river so wide, and healing come. 
comes from your hand Suffering children are safe in your arms There is none like you And I could search for all eternity long And find there is none like you Oh yes, Jesus And I could search for all eternity long And find there is none like you So wide, and healing comes from your hand. Suffering children are safe in your arms. There is none like you. There is none like you. Touch my heart like you do And I could search for all eternity long And find there is none like you And I could search for all eternity long And find there is none like you And I could search for all eternity long And find there is none like you Yes, Lord And I could search for all eternity long And find there is none like you oh yes jesus lord there's none like you father there's none like you lord there's no one lord no one no one oh father who can touch my heart like you do who can touch our hearts like you do oh father lord Oh, Jesus, oh God, such an experience and such a love, oh, Father, Lord. Oh, God, a love, oh, Lord, that assures us, oh, Father, Jesus, oh, God. A love that promises, oh, Father, Lord. Lord, that, that love, oh, Lord, that calms us, oh, Father, even during a storm, oh, Lord. It's only your love, oh, Lord, Jesus. How much have I searched, oh, Lord. There's no one going who is going to replace you, oh Father, Lord. There's no one, oh Father, Lord, who is going to love us like you do. Because your love is unconditional, oh Father, Lord. Your love know no bounds, oh Father. Because your love is beautiful, oh Lord. There's no words, oh Father, Lord Jesus, to tell about your love. To tell about your mercy, to tell about your grace, oh Father, Lord. Words are not enough, oh Lord Jesus. All we have is praise, oh Lord, and we praise you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship, Lord, with all our hearts, Lord, with all our mind and all our strength, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord. Gracious Heavenly Father in heaven, O Lord, thank you so much, so much, O Father, Lord, for being in midst of us, O Father, for being, O Lord Jesus, O God, to, for coming, O Lord, in midst of us, O Father, Lord, as we worship the Father, Jesus, O God, and thank you so much, O Lord, for being among us, O Father, Lord. 
we believe oh father jesus oh god that you accept our worship oh father our offering oh father jesus oh god thank you so much lord for your grace and mercy oh father lord father as we going to start oh father this worship this service of father lord I pray that i pray that lord all the glory and honor belongs to you and you alone oh father we give you all glory and honor oh father jesus oh god let it be about you and you alone oh father nothing about us oh lord take praise oh father take honor oh father jesus oh god i pray for every one oh lord who is watching i pray that oh father in jesus in name oh lord you touch the hearts you mend the hearts of oh father you talk to the hearts oh lord let them experience oh father your presence oh lord let them experience your love in their lives oh father lord the world lord is dying oh lord jesus we need your light oh lord in this darkness we believe oh father jesus oh god that you are there with us oh father jesus that you lead us thank you so much for being us throughout this worship oh lord jesus oh god and also oh lord for the rest of the worship oh lord we ask your presence oh father I pray that oh father lord jesus that you speak through your servant oh father lord you anoint him oh father lord give a special anointing upon him so that oh lord he'll speak your word oh father jesus oh god you use him oh father you speak through him oh lord jesus oh god so that he'll touch hearts of oh father jesus oh god so that oh lord people oh lord will accept you oh father and lord live according to your word oh father jesus oh god I pray oh Lord Jesus oh God that all the people of oh Father who are watching this of oh Father be blessed by your word of oh Father Jesus oh God. Thank you so much oh Lord for your grace. Thank you so much for your mercy till this till this moment of oh Father Lord. Again Lord, I submit the rest of the service into your mighty hands Lord. I pray in the mighty name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for joining the English service. I I hope that you have really experienced the presence of Lord as we have spent some time worshiping the Lord. We're going to spend some time uh, meditating on the Word of God. Let us uh, read Isaiah chapter sixty-four, verse eight. So in uh, Isaiah chapter sixty-four, verse eight, we can see. there are two important characters or very uh, two important characters in isaiah chapter 64 verse 8 one is the potter and the second one is the clay so the topic for today is the potter and the clay we're going to talk we're going to uh, we're going to look at three different points and uh, let us be with a heart of prayer that god would speak to us uh, through these points that god will lead us in a very uh, in, in, in a new way in this new year that god would help us to understand his ways and his plans for our lives the first point would be he is the potter so if in isaiah chapter 64 was 8 it's talking about the potter the potter is our god the god who called us he is the potter so we all know that when a potter starts making a vessel he has a plan in his heart right he has a plan in his mind so whatever plan he is having in his mind whatever plan he is having in his heart so he takes the clay in his hand and he molds that clay to that kind of a design to that design that he has in his heart the clay does not have any design the clay does not have any kind of a uh, any kind of a uh, shape but when the when the potter takes the clay in his hand he designs the clay he molds the clay into a very beautiful pot or whatever kind of a vessel it is when god made us when god made us he made us with a very specific and a very special plan we are not made in a in a industry like uh, uh, we are not made in uh, as a, we are not a product of a mass production god has made us with a very specific plan when god made each one of us 
he has a very definite a very specific and special plan for each one of us when when we hear this that god has a plan for each of our lives we sometimes wonder we look at our lives and we look at few people in the world and we wonder if god has a plan for every person then why is this person living in such a way why is this person so destructive why is my life like this when god made human beings when god made us he gave us that capacity he gave us that capability to have our own will to to think and and to imagine and to and he has given us the capability to run our own wills in our life so god has a will for me and at the same time i have a will for my life but when my will surrenders to the will of god that is when his will is fulfilled in my life there are certain things in this world or there are certain things that does not require us submitting to a submitting to it or us agreeing with it for example it might be the second coming of christ even though i believe it or i don't believe it or you believe it or you don't believe it we agree upon it or we don't agree upon it god said the second coming of christ is coming so it does not depend upon our will that is the will of god and is going to happen so in those cases the will of god is unopposed but when it comes to our lives when it comes to our family when it comes to our church there is a will of god but if you want the will of god to be fulfilled in our lives in our families in our church we need to submit our wills to the will of god our will need to surrender to the will of god so when we look at the world when we look at people and when we look at the state of the society we are living in the reason for this kind of a society for this kind of the world that we are living in is because people are opposing the will of god and all of this is a by product of the will of man so god has a very special and a very specific plan for you but when we do not understand and when we do not grasp the fact that he is the potter there is a very big problem because in hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 it says he is the author and the finisher of our faith so he is the originator of our faith he is the creator of our faith he is the author of our faith so when i don't understand or when i forget that he is the one who is originated my faith so my righteousness my uh, my uh, my holiness or my spiritual life my faith has originated through him by him he is the author when i don't grasp that fact what happens is i take i need to take up that responsibility of finishing it i need to take up the responsibility of continuing it so when i take up or when we take up that kind of a responsibility when we become the authors and the finishers of our faith of our righteousness it becomes a burden for us over a period of time we get we get frustrated we get agitated we get suffocated then we end up leaving everything and we say this is enough i'm not going to go forward this i'm not uh this is very hard for me i cannot live a real christian life i cannot follow god i cannot live a spiritual life i cannot live a righteous life the reason is because we forget that he is the potter we are not the potters of our life we are not the originators of our faith we are not the creators of our faith we are not the authors of our faith he is the author he is the originator he is the creator so when we trust that he is the author when we trust he is the originator when we trust he is he is the one he is the source of everything of whatever we are then we can completely depend on him to finish what he has started we can look at the life of elijah elijah was a wonderful man of god 
but at a certain point of time when Jezebel, Jezebel warns him that I'm going to kill you Elijah Elijah starts running for his life he runs he runs he runs he runs he runs and then he gets tired then he stops and then he says to God God it's enough and we can read that in first Kings chapter 19 verse 4 he, he says to God God it's enough I'm done I don't want to continue anymore He's tired. He's, he's tired with his life. He has just given up. The reason is, this is the same Elijah few days before he was standing on the mountain. He was standing against hundreds of these false prophets. He was alone, but he saw the fire of God come down. Because when he was standing on that mountain, he stood depending on God. He said, God, you call me from a place where I thought there was no meaning to my life. Like, my parents are no one. My family is, is nothing. I don't have a background. I don't have any kind of, any kind of theological degrees. or I have nothing. But you call me. And because you call me and because you said speak, I'm speaking. Because you said stand, I'm standing. I'm standing here because you told me to stand. I'm speaking here because you told me to speak. I'm praying because you told me to pray. Because he was completely dependent on God. And he saw the fire of God come down on the mountain. But when he tried to save his own life, maybe Elijah thought that he needs to protect his ministry. He needs to protect his life. He needs to protect his body. When he started running, what happened is he got frustrated. He got, he got tired. He says, God, this is enough. I'm done with it, Lord. I don't want any more of this. If we are trying to be our own potters, if we are trying to form or create our own lives, if we are trying to be the authors and the finishers of our own faith, what happens is we get tired. We get frustrated. But at this point of time, as you're hearing this word, God wants to remind you that he is the potter. All we need to do is we need to surrender our lives. We need to surrender our will into the hands of the potter. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. If we can stop leaning on our own understanding and if we can lean on the will of God and if we can completely lean on God, if we can completely surrender our lives, if we can su completely surrender our will to the will of God, we can be best assured that the potter will make the best vessel out of this clay, this clay that we are. So the first point is he is the potter. The second point that we're going to speak about is in Isaiah chapter 64 verse 8. There are two important characters. The first character is the potter, that is God. And the second one is the clay. And the second point is we are the clay. It's simple that we are the clay. The clay as we spoke about earlier, the clay has no shape. The clay has no form. For the clay to be made useful, for the clay to be made into a very useful vessel, what, it needs, to be, what needs to be done is the potter needs to take the clay and keep it on his wheel. Unless and until the clay is taken by the potter and kept on the potter's wheel, nothing comes good out of the clay. So many times we pray, God use me. Many times we pray, God I'm here. I'm ready to be touched by you. I'm ready to be used by you. Use me, God. So when we are telling God, God, use me, what we are doing is we are telling God, God, take me in your hand. I am clay, God. Please take me and put me on the wheel. Put me on your potter's wheel. It is not as easy as we think it is. We can look at the lives of Job. Within few hours, within few hours, he keeps 
he keeps he he keeps getting news after news disaster after disasters sometimes i think about that i think about the life of job and i think will i even withstand even one of those disasters if one of those kind of a disaster came in my life will i be able to withstand it will i be able to move forward that is the life of a person that is how it feels to keep to be kept on the potter's wheel we can look at the life of joseph joseph young man who saw the vision and when and when god gave him the vision and when he gave his life to god and he said yes god i want this vision to really come to fulfillment in my life god took his life and started spinning him on the potter's wheel and we know what kind of experience that is so it is one thing to say god use me and it is a very very uh, very very challenging thing to go through the process of being on the potter's wheel we god has given us visions god has given us prophecies god has given us many promises through his word but for those prophecies for those visions and for those and for those promises to be fulfilled in our lives we need to be put on the potter's wheel we need to be put on the potter's wheel many times we get a vision we get a prophecy and we are very excited we are very excited to see the vision come to fulfillment we are waiting for the promise to come to fulfillment we are waiting for god to do the things that he said he would do but what we forget is from the time we got the vision or the time we got the prophecy and the uh, and till the time we see the fulfillment of that prophecy or that promise of god there is a process the process is that we the clay needs to be put on the potter's wheel it's going to be very difficult it's going to be very challenging maybe you lose your sleep maybe you lose your health maybe you lose your peace of mind maybe you have food in your home but you you cannot eat your food maybe you have everything in your home but you're not able to enjoy it that is the experience of being put put on a potter's wheel sometimes we we go through that process we say yes god i'm ready to be used by you please use me keep me on the potter's wheel and god hears our request and he says that's right that's wonderful you want my will to be fulfilled in your life and you're ready to be on the potter's wheel and god takes us on the potter's wheel and he starts turning us and then we start we start having a spiritual battle we start praying we start uh, fighting and then we and and at a point of time we pray and god gives us a time of rest then we think oh this is done this is over my test is done my battle is done now i'm going to see the promise but then the potter says right i just kept you aside for some time now it's time to be back on the wheel because my purpose needs to be fulfilled in your life then god takes us back on to the potter's wheel and we then start crying god i thought it's done why are you taking me through this process again why are you doing this to me do you hate me did i do any sin did i work against you is there anything that you have against me but the truth is it's not that he has something against you but that he has something for you he has an he has a he has a very specific and very special plan for you for that plan to be fulfilled in our life we need to be put, put on the potter's wheel sometimes we misunderstand god we think that people misunderstand god we misunderstand god we think to be blessed we need to go through difficulties that if god needs to bless us god has to take us through difficulties but the fact is it's not that god wants to wants us to wants us to go through difficulties and hardships but we need to understand that we are clay we are clay we are formless we are shapeless we don't have anything of value 
but if we have to be blessed by the lord if we have if our lives need to be blessed by the lord we need to become something useful we need to become we need to get a shape we need to get a form we need to be we need to uh, be a vessel for us to be a vessel for us to be useful we the clay need to be put on the potter's wheel so tonight or at, at this point of time when you're hearing this word if you are going through some difficult times if you are going through some spiritual battles if you are going through some physical mental financial spiritual difficulties and if you're blaming yourself and if you're blaming god i want you to hear this god has a very special plan for you if you can be patient if you can persevere the purpose of god will be fulfilled in your life and when the purpose of god is fulfilled in your life you will forget all the pain you will for, for, forget all the difficulties you will forget everything that you have gone through and that point of time you will say all that i've gone through was worth it if i knew maybe 5 years 5 years down the lane 10 years down the lane you would say if i knew if i was being prepared for this i would have never sulked at god i would have never been angry at people i would have never been angry at myself if i knew that god is preparing me for something this great that is true today god is preparing you for something very special god is preparing you for something very specific because he has made you with a very special and a specific plan we look at people in this world few people who are used by god in a very special way and we look at their lives and it 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 really surprises us we are surprised how can god use one person in such a such a mighty way how can god use how can a single person be used in such a wonderful way how can a person be such a great blessing we look at what that person is doing we look at how great works like how great that person is used by god what wonderful works that person is doing but we are not seeing through the process that person has gone through maybe we don't know the time when the person was just a clay on the potter's wheel but because that person that we are looking at today has been through that process of being turned repeatedly on the potter's wheel that person had turned out to be such a great blessing today is your turn today is my turn maybe you and i are on the potter's clay today but if we can persist if we can have that patience if we can that have that faith and if we can really have that faith on god that whatever is happening in my life it happens with the purpose of god if we can resist the temptation of running away or we can resist the temptation of saying to god god this is enough i'm done with this if we can fight with ourselves and go forward then we will see the purpose of god being fulfilled in our lives in a marvelous way praise the lord and we'll come to the last point the last point is the first point that we spoke about is he is the potter the second point we spoke about is we are the clay and the third point is if we are the clay we need to be the best clay listen me listen to me being the best clay is not something that is not something we do is not a action that we're doing is not something we can do or is not a task that we can complete but it is a character let me repeat it again being the best clay is not about what we can do but it is about what who we are what we are we have spoken about this already that the clay has no shape has no form and the clay can do nothing 
to actually get a form. The clay can do nothing on itself to be useful. But only thing the clay can do is it can become moldable in the hands of the potter. All that the clay needs to do is just keep molding in whatever shape and form the potter is trying to mold it. That is the only thing that the clay can do. And that's the best thing the clay can do. Today, we are not the authors of our life. We might think that we can build our lives or we might think that we can do a number of things. But the truth is, without God, we cannot do anything. But with God, with, when we, the clay, are, are in the hands of the potter, our lives can become really significant. Our lives can be a real blessing. And all that we need to do is we need to become moldable in the hands of God. We need to say, God, take me in your hand and mold me in whatever way you want. Uh, Psalms 26 verse 2 in New Living Translation says, Put me on trial, Lord. Cross examine me. Test my motives and my heart. The psalmist says, put me on trial. Put me on trial. Or he's saying, God, put me on your wheel. Keep turning me. I just don't want to be this way. I don't, I'm not satisfied being this way. I'm not, I just don't want to live this way. I just don't want to be a clay. Test me, Lord. Put me on your wheel. Put me on your wheel. Make me useful for you. Make me acceptable for you. If we can pray the same way and, and tell God, God, I cannot do, I can do nothing apart from you. But I believe that you are the potter and I am the clay. And all I can do is be the best clay. I cannot be the best potter. I cannot be the potter. But you are the potter. You are the best potter ever. So here, oh Lord, I give my life to you and I'll be the best at obeying you. I'll be the best at saying, yes, Lord, here I am. I'll, be, I'll be the best at obeying to your word. Every time you speak to me, I will mold my life. I'll mold the way I speak. I'll mold, I'll mold the way I, I think. I'll mold the way I'm working. I'll mold the way I do my work. I do my business. I run my family. The way I imagine, the way I live. I, I'll mold everything according to your word, Lord. Just talk to me, God. Speak to me, Lord. Here I am. I am clay. You are the porter. Mold me according to your plan, according to your will. If that can be our prayer today, 2023, God will make us into wonderful vessels. He, he will transform our lives into, 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 into a life that we never imagined we would be or the kind of vessels we would be. we would be a blessing for the name of the Lord. It's not just about being blessed, but that it would be a blessing to many people. It would be a blessing for the name of the Lord. So three points we have discussed today. The first one is, we've seen that he is a potter. The second is, we are the clay. And the third is, we need to be the best clay. I hope that you have understood the sermon. And see, we have, I've never... Uh, preached in English. I've communicated in English many times, but I've never preached in English. So this is our first experience preaching in English. So preaching is different than communicating. So there are some difficulties, but I really pray that God would touch us, touch our tongue and touch, touch us and he would give us the wisdom and he would give us that skill in, in communicating and uh, preaching his word in the best possible way. Thank you so much for joining this um, worship service and I pray that God would speak to you today as you meditate on the word of God whatever you are heard today that if you can look to God today and once again and say God I am just a clay I am submitting my life into your hand mold me the way you want and if you can if you are going through such kind of a difficult situation and such kind of uh, physical or mental or spiritual or financial difficulties 
don't don't be hard on yourself don't blame god don't blame any, anyone it is that just you are in the process of becoming a beautiful vessel for god please close your eyes let us pray lord i thank you for this wonderful time that you have given us thank you for helping us to start this english service oh lord lord we don't have the capabilities we don't have the skills to do this but thank you for putting this in our heart and we pray that as we go forward you would bless us you would help us you would strengthen us lord lord i pray a blessing on every person who is lord listening to this and who is part of this worship service i pray that you would bless them i pray you would speak to them in a very special way i pray you bless their families their education their jobs their businesses that try whatever they are trying to do whatever they are trying to accomplish in their lives lord i pray that you'd bless them and i pray that they you would give them an understanding of your will in their lives oh god that they would they would be that they would be able to understand your will and they would a oh lord father submit to your will and see your purpose being fulfilled in our lives oh lord lord i thank you for the young uh, young a uh, lord youngsters who are helping us to a uh, lord organize and a uh, lord jesus carry forward or uh, conduct this service lord i pray that you bless them immensely oh father thank you for this wonderful opportunity you given us i pray that you would help us to go strong forward a uh, lord that we would not stop or nothing would hinder this english service oh lord and that it would be a blessing to many people lord please take all the glory honor in jesus precious name i pray amen 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 thank you so much for joining and we will be telecasting or we will be uh, publishing these online uh, english services every sunday please um, if you are blessed please go ahead and uh, um, uh, every sunday you can expect us to come forward with such kind of english worship service i pray you are blessed please pray for us and if you have any prayer request please put it in the comment section we'll surely pray for you thank you so much for joining in